In this video, I will show you how to apply Steve Neal's genre theory to the film that you've chosen to analyse. When doing your film analysis, you have three options. You can write it as an essay on Word, you can do a PowerPoint, or you can do a video essay. When writing your genre analysis, you need to cover the following. What is genre? Explain Steve Neal's genre theory. Apply repetition, apply difference, apply borrowing or hybrid genres, and then talk about industry and audiences in relation to genre. Your first task is just to explain what is genre. Now this just needs to be a very short statement, literally a sentence will be fine. Next, explain who Steve Neal is and also explain his genre theory using the terms repetition and difference. To find out about this theory, click on the links in the description or the title card above. Before applying Steve Neal's genre theory to your film, the first thing you want to do is just a very short sentence or two just explaining what the genre is. So I have chosen what is gothic horror. So gothic horror uses wild and desolated landscapes, low key lighting, graveyards, ruined buildings, medieval buildings, and they often have supernatural antagonists like ghosts or vampires. And they're often set in the past before the 20th century. So what is your genre like? So who are the characters? What are the locations? Who are the antagonists? What are the stereotypical storylines that you might see? Just in a very short statement. If we take a look at my example for repetition, we have medieval castles, we have graveyards, we've got low-key lighting, there are vampires, and repetition of vampire films, there are fangs, blood, coffins, stakes, crosses. It's set mostly at night, and we have a damsel in distress that the heroes must save or rescue from Dracula. Now, if I compare my film to a previous Dracula film, see what the differences are. How is this film changed from the previous Dracula film? So my film is in colour, while the previous Dracula film is in black and white. And also, this film is more violent than the previous film. And if I compare my film to a later Dracula film from 1991 starring Keanu Reeves and Anthony Hopkins, we have the same repetition of the castle, we have the fangs, we have the blood, we have the victims. But in terms of differences, Dracula is more of an anti-hero here. So we find out his backstory. We find out why he became a vampire. And at the end of the film, his character is redeemed for all his past sins. So next, you want to talk about how your film may have borrowed from other genres, or is it combined with another genre, like a romantic comedy, so you've got romance and comedy. Now in my film, for example, Dracula has a lot of action sequences, so it's borrowing from action genre, and there's some comedy moments in there as well, so it's also borrowing from the comedy genre. And then finally, explain why is genre important to filmmakers? So why was it important to the people who made your film? Why is genre important to audiences, especially the genre you've chosen? So you need to explain this at the end. In the next video, I will show you how to apply narrative theory to the film that you've chosen to analyse. 